Hi, Carrie Cutler here, author of Math Positive Mindsets, Growing a Child's Mind Without Losing Yours, and I have some new math-related picture books I want to share with you today that you might think about adding to your collection. The first one I want to show you is called The Boy Who Dreamed of Infinity, and it is a biography of the famous mathematician Ramanujan, and it has a lot of words in it. It's not great for a, a preschool classroom because there are a lot of words in it. But the story is magnificent, the pictures are gorgeous, and the inspiring tale about of, of Ramanujan um, leaving his tiny village in India to go to study at Cambridge. Mathematics around 1914 is just fantastic. Even this one little line. Um, he's got his little um, um, tablet out here, his chalkboard out here, and he says he loved this idea, small and big, each inside the other. If he could crack the number one open and find infinity, what secrets would he discover inside other numbers? It felt like he was setting out on a grand chase. So this is a wonderful book to think about adding to your collection when you're talking about very large and very small numbers and being curious about numbers. Um, I love that one. Here's another one that I want to show you. It's called Bracelets for Venus Brothers. And it is about a little girl who is celebrating a Hindu holiday that celebrates the relationships between brothers and sisters and how wonderful they can be. And she has brothers who usually tease her and they call her and call her silly nicknames and things these three brothers but she decides she wants to create something for them for this holiday she decides to make beaded bracelets for them and she asks them their favorite colors and she uh, finds out about more about their hobbies <laughs> and she creates the base bracelets best uh, based on their preferences and includes a little secret something for each brother on their bracelet. So check out this one, Bracelets for Venus Brothers. Um, I wonder if maybe you already have this book. It's called Baby Goes to Market, and it's by Atanuki. And in this story, this little baby in this African market goes with her mother, and she's sitting in the sling on the back. And the mother is keeping a basket on her head to keep her to put her items in from the market. But baby is also adding to the basket the whole time. And baby's hungry, so baby's also sneaking a little bit from each of the items that's up in the basket. So it's great for counting forward and backward. And the pictures are just just gorgeous. And this is a great one for counting forward and backward. And the last one I want to show you is a wordless picture book. It's called The Carpenters by Bruno Barros. And it reminds me a lot of Harold and the Purple Crayon. It's kind of got a similar idea to it. This little boy is um, in his father's workshop with him. His father is building a boat. And the little boy is getting creative with this hinged tape measure. And he starts to be an inventor as well with the hinged uh, tape measure and in the end I just want to show you the last page is so cute in the end they are imagining they are in the ocean and the father builds a real boat that he measured all right I hope you'll check out these three books they're so fantastic and I hope you're thinking about lots of ways that you can integrate picture books with mathematics thanks so much for watching